guys, it's Zia. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel for the first time if you are new. Hello. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'm Zia and this is my little YouTube channel where I do a little bit of whatever I feel like doing. As you can see, I'm not wearing any makeup, but my lashes look pretty good, right? 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 And that was because I ha just did DIY lash extensions at home. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, there should be a video already up. I will link it down below. And yeah, the reason why I'm not wearing any makeup is because, first of all, I was doing my lashes. I didn't want to wear any makeup while I was doing this. But also, I'm going to try out the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow... What are you called? Waterproof Brow Gel. And I got the shade Medium Brown. This boasts that it's supposed to last up to two days. And that's waterproof and all that good stuff. So I am going to put this on and we'll see how it works out. The instructions say to use smooth short strokes starting mid-brow then fill and blend, blend <laughs> towards the start of the brow. Okay and then you let it dry for one minute and it's supposed to last for up to two days. Now we will battle this against cleanser because most of us wash our faces every day, right? I hope so. You should be washing your face every day. I already washed my face this morning and I went over my brows with a little bit of alcohol to get like all of this super clean and so that there's like no oil residue left over because I assume if there's oil on my face then this stuff definitely is not going to last. Here is what the brush looks like. It's very basic, kind of looks like, it's not a doe foot but it looks basically like a doe foot. And there's a lot of little fibers coming off of here. I'm not completely sure why because you're literally just painting it on, so... Yeah. So it says to start mid-brow. I kind of went mid-front. Like in the center part of the middle. What? <laughs> like, I went in like the middle of the first half of my brow. But... Either way, I think it's okay. I want to get the basic shape of my brow. Okay, this is basically how I want it. It's a little messy. It also comes with a tiny little spoolie of its own in the box. Here it is in a little plastic thingy. So maybe for the purposes of this video, I'll just use this little one here. So I'm just blending everything that's here already. And then I'm going to blend whatever's left on the spoolie into the front of my brow. That's not bad. I, I feel like that came out pretty good. I do have some cleanup to do, but it really isn't very bad. I have a little Q-tip here. Just going to rub away anything that's over in the wrong spot. Uh, hopefully before this dries down too much. I feel like it looks kind of odd. I can't figure out why. Maybe just the areas without hair look kind of thin. I think I'll let this dry for a moment and then I'm going to blend it out again. It doesn't say to do that. It just says to fill it all in, blend with spoolie, and then let it dry for one minute. Um, okay. So, very thick brow, but I feel like I can always fix that. I would rather have them be a little thick. Okay, that, this one had a little bit of time to dry, so I'm going to start brushing it out. Alright, so brows are looking extremely thick. I definitely have to thin these out a bit, but I'd rather have them too thick and just clean them up. Assuming it comes off with makeup remover, but I don't think that's going to be an issue because it doesn't feel like something that's going to last that long. I, I don't have really high hopes for this product. I'm excited to give it a try 
because I really just want things to work in the morning that I don't have to spend a whole lot of time on because I really want to have like a few shortcuts in the morning so like I don't have to do every single part of my makeup routine you know what I mean um, that's why I did the eyelash extensions because I'm definitely not putting falsies over these and I probably won't put mascara on either I have some micellar water and I'm just going to go over and under my brows with some of this hopefully it comes off it is coming off you can see it on the q-tip but it's not coming off easily I would just be impressed if this did last through one face washing all right guys here are my brows Whew. Um, they are still really thick but I like my eyebrows thick it is what it is um, plus I really don't feel like this is going to last I just I just don't I feel like it's definitely going to wash right off when I wash my face um, especially with cleanser because like who just washes their face with water I'm gonna let this sit on my face while I do some other stuff today I've got a ton of things that need to be done normal house stuff and I also have to de-hair my face I, I have a mustache growing don't look at it hey guys so um, I was like hmm the eyebrows still seem really really on there so I went over it with a piece of um, blotting paper and you see part of my eyebrow actually came out um, just like going over it with the eyebrow not with the eyebrow with the blotting paper like this whole upper portion that like really got thinned but I actually prefer that now it looks a bit more natural so that's good it's actually been on my eyes for like over an hour so that's interesting so I'm gonna do the same thing to this side now um, yeah, you see this brow that's how it is right now on this side so let's see how it is for this one just going to run it this way push it down pull it off in the same direction all right that seems to have toned it down a bit and there it is so on this side. What side can you see it on? Right. Yeah, this is the side <laughs> that it came off on. So there's this brow and there's the other brow up here. So on all the parts that really didn't have hair on it, or really doesn't have hair on it, that's where it thinned, which makes sense to me. Um, it sucks that it did thin the color um, without me really doing anything other than blotting it. So yeah, but I think if I like went over it with powder, it would stay, but that would defeat the purpose of this one product lasting for 24 hours. And considering that it came off right now just using blotting paper, I feel like it's probably going to wash off um, once I wash my face and put cleanser on and everything. I feel like it's definitely going to wash off of my face. Hey guys! So, I've had these brows on, oh there's my legs, hello. How you doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, <laughs> so I've had these brows on all day and I'm gonna go wash my face and let's just go into the bathroom so that you can see what I'm washing my face with. Let's go in this way. Hello. Hello. Alright, so we are in my bathroom now. Oh, and the fan is broken in here, so now I can have light on without having the fan on. Does the light help very much? No. No, the lighting in here is still dreadful because now I look like a Tim Burton character, which I don't mind. You know what? I don't know what I'm complaining about. Okay, so I have my cleanser right here. This is my everyday cleanser. It's pretty gentle. It's even more gentle now because I actually had to water it down because I totally ran out of cleanser last night. And, um... So yeah, this is not as strong as it usually would be. I don't even know if it's like a good thing to water down your cleanser. Um, I know for sure it's not gonna be like as effective and maybe like mixing with tap water will make it not work anymore. I don't know, but 
Um, I figure it's kind of like shampoo. You can put some water in it, still work, make it work for another couple of days. It's going to wet my face like you do when you're going to wash your face. And here's a look at my brows. So exactly what I expected happened. Um, anything that's like above my natural line of my brow hairs totally came off. But I'm not mad at it. Like it just needs like a really small touch up. But it actually, this one looks pretty good actually. Hey, but this one looks really patchy. <laughs> But it's really not that bad. Oh, I'm gonna let's go get the spoolie, and we'll see if that spreads around the product anymore again. Okay, here's the spoolie again. Let's turn you guys this way so the lighting's a little bit better. And I'm just gonna brush through the whole thing. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. And there's the other brow. So this one definitely still looks more patchy, but it's like, it's more full because it went up higher, but it's more patchy because in that area, it's like kind of bald. On here, it looks full in the areas that it is covered and it does not look as patchy. So it kind of equal evens out. Um, this one and this one both look fairly good. Uh, like they're not perfect, that's for sure. But they don't look bad. They haven't completely gone away. This is a really easy touch-up situation and I'm a fan. It lasted. It lasted throughout the day and I definitely got oily and I applied moisturizer a few times today because whenever I'm at home and I don't have anywhere to go, I moisturize my face like crazy um, because during the days, during the week, I can't do that. You know, I wish that it stayed perfectly on the whole time, but the fact that my brows like totally look tinted the way they are looks fairly good. I just need to touch up a tiny little bit here and a little bit here, but in general, it looks really good. So I give this a B plus. I'm not going to stop here. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like tomorrow morning. I'll be back. Hey guys, still not wearing any makeup and it's the next morning. You're not wearing makeup? No. Oh my God. I thought you were. <laughs> Sexy thing you. <laughs> anyway, um, I washed my face and everything, also put on like a ton of moisturizer. So sorry if I look kind of oily. Oh! You do not look oily. I look oily. No, you don't. Anyway, um, so as you can see, there is a tiny little bit of color left over in my brows. Not very much. So does this really last two days, which would be 48 hours? No, it hasn't even been 24 hours. And it like is 16 hours. Maybe like 20. 20 hours. 16 to 20. 16 to 20, 16 hours. 20 hours. And it's almost totally gone. If you're somebody who likes to sleep and you don't want to go through doing your brows in the morning, yeah. then yeah, that helps you out a little bit because it cuts out the time that you would spend on your brows. Even if you have to touch them up a little bit, it cuts the time definitely at least in half for your brows. So <laughs> I definitely recommend it for that. But if you're expecting something that's going to last two days, without a doubt, no, no, no. But yeah, that's it. That's everything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, then please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you have not already. I put out three videos every week. That's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I hope you guys stick around for those because I would love to have you. It's about my tiny little growing YouTube family. And... That's everything. Don't forget to hit the little notification button. It's either up there or down there. I don't know where it is, but you should find it and then hit it. And then I think that really is enough this time. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>